it's Leah London. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today we'll be styling my master bedroom and I want us to get straight into it, but don't forget to subscribe. All right, so I moved in about a year ago and this room was completely empty. Literally did not have furniture for months. Slept on a blow-up mattress because I was busy furnishing other spaces in the house. But now I am ready to go ahead and give this space the love and attention that it needs. I want it to be fully representative of my style, my hubby's style, and it's the last room that you spend any time in at the end of the day and the first room that you wake up and really start your day, so it's important to me that we get this right. Right now, the walls are blank, they're white. I'm not ready to paint, but I will soon because this is the vibe that I'm going for. I really am into sleek and modern, somewhat masculine, really darker colors. I'm going grays, golds, whites, and silver accents, but really love the moodiness. This room feels so cozy to me. It feels very warm, very inviting, and it really like, I don't know, like it just draws me in. So this was the inspiration. This is the vibe that I'm going for. Very modern, but still somewhat transitional. Again, I think it has a lot to do with the accessories and the fabrics in this space. So this is the furniture that I purchased. I have a headboard that has a full frame. I found this at overstock.com and I'll be sure to link it below. But this is a tufted headboard. It's about five and a half feet from the ground. So it's pretty substantial height and it really looks great and serves as a focal piece on the main wall. I also have these nightstands that I got from a local furniture store. They complement well, they are by no means the same set, but they are a deeper gray um, grain and they're really great quality and I'm really pleased with them. They are a little bit wider than your average nightstand because I wanted them to fill up the space um, against the wall, but I also wanted to ensure that it was plenty of storage because I opted not to have a dresser. I have a pretty big closet and I didn't want to put more furniture in this room than I needed to. My mattress came in a box to the house from Nectar.com. This is my first time trying to do an online uh, mattress purchase and I'm really pleased with it. Um, it was really simple to install, literally popped open the box, it expanded, we put it on the bed. I ended up going back to get the box spring because I felt like the mattress was sitting too low, but really happy with it. It's super firm, yet soft, all at the same time. So that is definitely a really good purchase. To go shopping, we are headed to Home Good. I love shopping at Home Goods because they have an excellent selection at really reasonable prices. I have found some very high end pieces and the prices are crazy good. I'm looking for lamps, mirrors, and also wall art and smaller accessories. Now we're back home. I found some really good things. I'm going to show you once I run them upstairs. I have mirrors and the lamps that I mentioned and the wall art and I was able to find some smaller frames that I may use to accessorize around the room. Haven't decided completely where they'll go yet. And I found this really cool candle with my initial on it. And believe it or not, L's are really hard to find on stuff. I don't know why, but I picked it up. It was gold and white, so it was perfect. And then I found this really cool stone. I love that it's white and it's shiny, <laughs> but it adds a lot of texture and I'm sure I can find a space for it. So I brought out the tools because now I'm going to hammer in all of the nails and make sure the wall art is good to go, starting with my new seating area. The pictures that I'm hanging up, I want them to be a little bit lower and I want them to be eye level. They're a coordinating set and I don't want it to be too high and 
I am going to take my time to make sure this is right. If I were to have a favorite thing in this room, I think it would be this piece of art. It is going to add so much more character to this wall against this headboard in both color and texture. The bed is soft, this is a hard metal object, but it's rounded and the bed is straight. It's flat, it has straight lines, so there's already so much contrast. And I really think once I paint the walls, it will pop even more. It is a hammered metal sculpture art it has variation in color, variation in the size of the circles. I think that it helps draw your eye up and really draws you in to this space. I'm going to hang up these mirrors that have a really intricate frame, but I need to raise them up a little bit higher because the lamps that I purchased are taller and the shade is going to block the mirror. So I'm gonna use painter's tape, here's a tip, to mark where you want them to hang so that it's even and then if you change your mind you can play around with the placement of the tape so you don't drill multiple holes in the wall flipping back over to my seating area i found this amazing chair at target it is white and will really add a lot of contrast to the furniture and the bedding on the adjacent wall I found this matching or coordinating table at home goods this chair is really soft to touch it has a rounded back and nail heads around the border it's really lovely from any angle and I am going to place the wall art that I selected for this space I think they coordinate really well together and again once I paint this will pop against a darker background just want to make sure that the wall art is level so that to the eye doesn't look off and then I'm just gonna move this furniture slightly to make sure that it's centered with the wall art I'm super geeked about it in this space. It is a delicate paper design against a linen background inside a clear shadow box. So it's that 3D element, it's rounded, which will complement the roundness of the wall art that I placed above the bed, help to marry these two spaces and tie it in together. Now, because this space is so white, I have to be very intentional about my accessories. So I'm gonna start with this picture. Well, one, it's sentimental because it's my engagement photo, but it's also a darker backdrop, which will add even more contrast. And then I'm gonna place that really cool stone that I got from Home Goods in front for some more texture. The orchid that I selected is adding height and also just life and color. I actually hand selected this from a local orchid farm not too far from the house and I love it because they have hundreds of selections and they have many shapes, sizes, and colors. I'm also going to add this faux fur throw. This was gifted to me and I really think it's going to help cozy up the space and of course add color because of the contrast. This pillow I already had in the house but I wanted to make sure that the pillow I selected was lower than the back of the chair because I don't know I felt like it would be odd if it was taller but it really works well because the gray ties back to the throw perfection now back to the bed I had to have my husband help me to hang up these mirrors because they are heavy the frame is pure metal it's in a really really neat modern contemporary design and there's some gold flecks throughout which will help tie in to other elements in the room. Now I'm going to start on making sure all the bedding is perfect. Of course start with the sheets then adding on the comforter and last but not least layering in the pillows.
This comforter is going to set the entire vibe. It is velvet, it's so luxurious. Found it at Home Goods. It's a dark gray color and it's perfect for this space. Now that the bed's done, I'm going to transition to the nightstands. The lamps that I found feature a, a solid marble base, brass hardware, and double pools, which will be great for controlling the lighting, especially if I'm reading late in the evening or early in the morning. I'm going to keep it simple because I like to change my nightstand styling often. I'm going to start with a book gonna layer in a plant for color and liveliness, and yay, I get to use this candle. Okay, scratch that. Wasn't enough contrast, so I'm going to use this gold picture frame instead. I need to print a picture ASAP to place in the frame, but overall loving the texture and how these are all complementing one another. For the other side, of course, it has the same mirror, the same lamp. I'm going to, again, keep it consistent, keep it simple. I'm going to do a stack of books to hold the HomePod and a black sculpture. Felt like this room was almost finished, but I felt like it was missing something. And then I had the idea of using a bench that I previously got at Home Goods a year or two ago that I had in my old apartment and then putting it at the foot of the bed to add even more in the space. I am so excited to show you guys the final reveal. Here it is. This is my vibe. All of the elements really tied together. I cannot believe that I actually pulled this off with finding everything practically at Home Goods. All of the colors, the textures, the shapes work well together. And I really think once I paint and find a light fixture and maybe even a rug, it's gonna set this room to a whole nother level. Let me know what you think about the pieces that I featured here. And if you have any suggestions, including paint color, be sure to comment below. I'd love your feedback. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to consider redecorating a space in your home. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next video. Bye.